Uh, hi everyone. Today we want to talk about internet applications or how to use the internet. It's one of the most important things that every computer user must know, uh, especially if you are working or if you are a student. You have to go to the internet a lot to send emails, to do your research, and to look for necessary information to help you with other stuff. So, how do we get to the internet? It's uh, so simple. Let's see how. Before, before you can connect to the internet, you will need a program or a software called Internet Browser. We have different kinds of internet browsers. Uh, this here is called Chrome. Okay, uh, once you click on it, it can give you the interface or the platform that you can use to connect to the internet and browse. We call this uh, Firefox or Mozilla Firefox over here. And then we also have uh, Internet Explorer. Uh, I haven't uh, put a shortcut here, but the common ones that I use are the Chrome and then the Firefox. Uh, we have so many others, okay, but then uh, uh, most people like using either the Chrome or the Firefox, okay. So let's begin. If uh, by chance you have your internet browser shortcut in your tax bar, then you just click on it just one time. Or if it is here, okay, on your desktop, then you have to double click on it, okay, or right click and you select open. But mine is over here or in my tax bar, so I'll just click it once and then it will open for us. So let's wait and see how it will look like. It's still trying to open. Usually, it shouldn't take so long. Uh, I don't know why my is taking quite some time, but uh, it will open shortly. Okay, so here we go. That's it. So when the browser opens, this is what you see. Okay, this is what you see. Now let's start from here, where my case is. Okay, we call it the address bar. This is where if you have any website for an organization and you want to, you know, check what the organization does and then get some information, you will put the website address here. You know, most websites, they begin with www. Then, you know, it continues. Let's say www.gadresinternational.org or .com okay or dot code dot uh, uk and stuff like that so this is uh, uh, an ngo uh, website for an ngo so once you type the website address you can click enter on your keyboard and then wait for it to open for you so it will take you to the website of this uh, organization okay so you can see welcome to Gadress international and then whatever you want to do you take your time and you do that you see i'm going down like this scrolling down to see the activities of the organization so here we have the name of the organization welcome to cartridge uh, international and creating a meaningful and sustainable world for people of all class and so on and so forth you just look at the vision you take your time what they do street children homeless abuse and stuff like that so you go down and you check everything, okay? So this is uh, how to come to any organization's website if you know the, their website address. And you may see the menu here. So the menu tells you subdivisions, okay? Like I can, I'm now at home, I can go to project to see what is inside project, maybe their past projects you know and then uh, we have future projects what they intend doing and stuff like that and we have another menu uh, tab here get involved that is if you want to be a partner you see uh, they have detailed everything here and then we have uh, if you want to donate to support the activities 
you know and then if you want to contact them then you go here click on contact and then you'll be able to get all the necessary details so this is how simple it is okay this is how simple it is so uh that's it that's it this is how you can get to the website of any organization okay so this is the internet browser once again now one of the things i want you to remember all the time is this uh, website called www.google.com okay now if you don't know so much about using the internet uh many internet users rely on this website to search for anything that you can think of anything that you can imagine okay so uh you may type this inside the address bar then you click enter and let's see once it opens you see a search bar here okay now here you can type anything that is on your mind that you want to you know get data on for example you want to read about harvard university you want to read about uh, unisa you want to read about maybe uh, kwame Nkrumah university of science and technology you know anything on your mind that you want to read about you want to travel to maybe kenya and then uh, you want to type kenya to see what is there you want tourist attraction site you want a hotel you know the list continues on and on okay so let me just uh, start with uh, anything i'm going to uh, let's say most popular hotels in the world okay most popular hotels in the world you type this information in the address bar then you click enter from your keyboard okay so it opens something like this for you okay now uh, the information the information you are searching we have different individuals organizations that have put information uh, that is concerning the keywords that you have used okay so this is one of the places we have uh, inspired by maps.com okay they are talking about the top 10 most famous hotels in the world to inspire you so if you are interested in this one you see this blue thing once i put it you see how the uh, keza changes look at the keza it's an arrow here but once i bring it here it changes to like uh, the you know the hand of a person pointing a finger so it means you can click and it will open for you now when you go down okay let me scroll down another one goes here 10 of the world's most famous hotels okay by this this the website www.smart uh, smartertravel.com okay there is another one so we have many of them and the thing is that uh, you may not get all the information by just opening one of them that is why we have different options so uh you can then take your time and open uh, about five or six or seven of them and compare the kind of information that each one is providing and then you'll be able to uh, choose from the list okay so this is what i normally do if you click on the first one it will open for you but in order for me to keep working i don't want to wait sometimes it can take a few minutes or seconds for one of them to open so when i'm here uh, the option is i can click directly let's see it's opening you see this thing moving like that like the circle it means it is still trying to open so it opens to this website you know that uh, movement has stopped so i just check what is here you know just take your time you read uh, places you can open we call them links you see once you put here you, you see the hand again it's a link and if you have sub you know links you can open any of them take your time and read go to destination you see many sub you know links and stuff like that then you can go down to check read and read and read take your time so that's how we get to this particular website now if i want to go back you see the arrow that points to the left side i click it will take me back right to the uh, front page where i was before but what i was trying to say earlier was that instead of clicking directly i'll write up I'll rather right click on this one here then the first option that says open link in new tab okay now I click and you see it has 
opened a new tab okay it's still opening so i'll not wait i'll go down and open another one so that i don't wait for it so here too i can right click and say open so as it is open you see the first one has opened if i want to get to it i can just click and go and read or i can keep on opening a few of them i first check the head and if i'm interested in this one if i'm not i will skip and i go to the next one if i'm not interested in the heading i go to the next one let's say this heading suits me so i'll right click and select open a new tab then i scroll down you see so you continue just read the headings and the ones the ones that uh, appear to be you know more uh, suitable you just open them okay and let's get to the bottom part sometimes you may not get it so they suggest uh, similar keywords for you if you want any of them you may click on one of these okay uh, we have so many uh, websites that are providing information about the keywords that you have used most popular hotels in the world so we are on page number one we can click then page number two will open for us you take your time and you go on you can come to page number three and so on or you can click next 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 but mostly you may not have to go so far sometimes even the first page can provide for you the information that you need or the second and so on so uh, all of them have finished opening you can see that look at the tabs right, let me click on this tab and see uh you may see some pop-ups like this sometimes asking for your permission for them to you know uh, you know contact you or just uh, show you notifications and stuff like it's up to you you can allow or you can block or you can just cancel it it does not really matter some website uh, they send what they call cookies to your uh, computer okay so uh, you may accept it or you may ignore it but for other websites if you don't accept it you may not be able to uh, you know have access to the details it depends on the website that you are working on so are you a travel insider uh, some website they want you to sign up so that they can communicate with you update you with uh, latest information you know about their promotional stuff and all of that okay i'm not interested in that i'll close it and i'll take my time to explore you know the beautiful scenes here let's see that's very beautiful well so we go down we go down we go down we go down yeah it could be a nice hotel you take your time you read you read you read okay so it's as simple as that and over here you can click on each one of these and you open we go to the next tab and then what do we have okay so we have all of that so you can take your time so basically this is how we can search for information of any kind information of any kind so if uh, i'm done with it and i don't need this one i can close it here you can see if you close it from this right side it will close all the tabs but you may not have finished and it's only maybe one or two tabs that you want to close so go to that particular tab that you don't need you close that one alone like here uh, like the scene here i'll leave this one <laughs> then let's go here you close this tab let's go to the original tab that we're working on so we type most popular hotels in the world if i want information about animals just think of anything that you want it doesn't really matter okay so uh, wild animals anything anything wild animals lions whatever you click enter then information pops up right so many so you follow the same thing that i was showing you you can right click and open this to check what is there you can go to the next one you right click you open about five of them then you compare them at the same time right but the thing about uh, you know a project work when you are doing a project work sometimes you may wish to get images or pictures right you don't want uh, maybe uh, the the data per se but you want just the uh, images but if you want data or information then you can open to each website and read what they are saying or notes you just read but i want images okay so we have all all gives you the website everything they have there uh, text and images all combined and we have images alone okay so i can click on images okay images then uh, you see we have different images okay so uh, the image that you're looking for 
sometimes let's say if i like this image here okay i just uh, right click i can save it to the computer or i can just click on it like to to, to see how it looks like you know when it opens okay so i uh, if you like this uh, animal i think it's a bear you just right click on it then you see save image as so here you want to save this on your computer okay or if you just want to copy and paste it inside maybe your word document or any place okay you can copy and paste but uh let's save it we click on save image as it will open a window for us so here is the name if you want to change it type you know a name that you prefer i can call it uh my bear okay then uh the format in which the picture will appear is png okay we also have jpeg and other formats so before i click on save i have to check where it's going remember most of the files that you download most of the things you download from the internet or things that you retrieve from the internet most of them by default or automatically they go to a place on your computer called downloads okay so most of the stuff you download go to this place called download if you don't want it to be there and you want to change the location then you can click maybe you want to put it on desktop you click or you want to put it on document wherever whatever you click the name will appear here then afterwards you come to save but uh, i'm okay i want it to go to download so that i'll take the opportunity to go and show you uh, where to get uh, your downloads and then how to retrieve this file so i click on save so it will go to downloads okay so i'm okay with this uh, i can go back you know to uh, the front page or i can edit here maybe i want to be more specific i want uh, something about antelopes then i click so antelopes appear for me okay so there are many you can take your time don't rush don't say hey, i'm lucky because uh, you may get nicer nicer pictures than those up here so take your time go down sometimes you may have several pages as you are going down then you know it will be loading more will be loading more will be loading you see so the one you like if you like this scene here i can click on it so that it becomes a bit larger to have a, a clearer view uh if i'm okay with that i repeat the same steps right click and go to save image as it will open the window then this is the name if i'm happy with it i just click first check it's going to download that's good i see this one the format is jpeg right okay jpeg so we're okay with this we just click save it will save straight to your download so it goes on and on now i want to go back to the first page so i click here it takes me back it takes me back okay so this was the page i was on okay so let's say i'm done with the images i want to come to all where i can see all the websites and then i can also collect data and stuff like that so we have all of these things here okay so i can click on any of the website if it's this website i want i click and then i check what they have here oh this website uh, it's a youtube video okay later we'll learn about youtube so maybe someone has given us a video detailing out uh the kind of information you want about animals and stuff like that okay i don't need this one here so let me go back yeah so basically that's it so uh one more time i will just go over what i have said so i want to search for uh some information on the internet uh i had to first of all open my internet browser i use chrome for this uh, example so it opens then in the address bar I type www.google.com and click on enter. Then here I write whatever I want. So uh, let's say I want information about uh, greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect. Okay, as you are typing, it pops up. So this is what I want. I want a PDF so that I can download. So I can type P greenhouse effect PDF. Maybe I want it for my project. Or notes or stuff like that you know it's easy to download PDF files so then I take my time to check all the various websites what they are saying right 
Okay, so here I see this is the website and I see PDF. You see this here on the right. Here to PDF on the right. Those ones, more likely you can get a file to download, you know, and take your time to read uh, when you go offline. Okay, so I'll right click and then it will open in a new tab. I'll right click this one. It opens in a new tab. Let's go down a little bit. Uh, I see PDF. Uh, I'm interested in a PDF or maybe doc files, which is Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is also of, uh, okay for me or even Excel and stuff like that. So they are so many. Yeah, I don't see any PDF. Uh, I can open and read, but it's not a PDF. I can just open and read what's there. I can copy it directly from the website. Okay. So let me start with this page here. So here we see that's a PDF. So this is the symbol for download. The symbol for download. Okay. So, or if you want to print, uh, you can just click on print if you have a printer connected to your PC and it will print for you. But uh, I prefer downloading and then you take your time to read. How many pages? We have six pages. So this is one out of six, the first page. I can scroll down here, click on this arrow here. You know, then I see the rest of the information. You can glance through it quickly to see if you are satisfied with this information before you download. If you are not happy, you just close it and go to another thing because we have so many lots of information on the internet that you cannot even finish uh, counting. So I'll click on this arrow, it will download for me. Let's see what happens. Okay, it pops up. I mean, this one, this window pops up. So this is the name, unless you want to change it. Okay. But if you are cool with the name, check it's going to download. If you want to change your location, do that. But I'm okay. I'll click on save. This is Acrobat document or Adobe Acrobat that's PDF. So I click on save. So it's saving. When it's finished saving, you see it here. Okay, it has saved. All right. So uh, I'm done. I can close this one. I don't need it anymore. I get to the next one. I can also click on this arrow for download. It will download for me. Okay, that's what greenhouse that's the name it's going to download so i click yes then as it's downloading okay this one is so small three pages so it has downloaded i'm done i go to the next one three pages uh let me i don't need this one here here 12 pages uh let me click download and uh yes it's going to download so you see it's downloading so quick okay so i have this but i come here this is not a pdf file it's a text in it uh, text in the you know on the on the website so what i can do if i need this one here is probably i bring my cursor here okay then i left click on my mouse i hold the left side of the mouse and i move with the other finger to select you know the kind of information i want if it, it's everything i click and go down okay i can go up a little bit if i have over selected it I go down slowly yeah so if that's okay i release my finger from the left side of the mouse or the left button and i do Control c that is keyboard shortcut for copy oh i mistakenly press someone so it has been deselected let's select again we hold we left click and we hold we come down we come down we come down then we select everything that we want okay then as i said you can use keyboard shortcut Control c Control c is for copy if you don't want the keyboard shortcut then within the selected space anywhere that there is a selection right click and you select copy 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 so it has copied you have to go and paste maybe in microsoft word or in word pack we haven't uh, done microsoft word yet we'll do it later but this is my word so you click on Microsoft Word or you can go to WordPad. I explained in the, one of the videos. So let's open to Microsoft Word. Okay, it's still opening. Then uh, let's make it large. This one is for maximize. You should know this by now. We spoke about it. Uh, this one is not important. I have to activate this uh, office. Don't worry about this uh, red thing. Okay, uh, the, this side here, normally for a previous work, uh that uh, probably didn't save it it will just pop up to remind you that uh, there are changes do you want to really uh, save it or not okay uh, let's ignore this one so we want to paste to paste you know it you right click and you select paste you see we have three of these buttons but for now let's concentrate on this you click it will paste for you 
or you press Control V from your keyboard. Okay, Control V, and it's gonna paste for you. So uh, it's gonna paste the information that we copied from the website. So you can see. Okay, we didn't have a PDF to download, but we have had a means to still get this data. Okay, in Microsoft Word, and we can work on it as a project. Okay, so once you finish, don't forget to save this work. Okay, the way we, we saved a file in a uh, word part is the same thing. You come to file here on the left side and you go to save us. So a window is going to open for us. So the name you prefer, you, you type the name here. I'm cool with greenhouse effect. Then where is it going? It's going to document. Uh, let me change this one here. I want it to go to desktop. So I click desktop. So desktop appears here. So I'm satisfied with this. So I go to save. So uh, this work should go to uh, my computer document, uh, my computer desktop. Sorry. So let me minimize it and let's go and check. Let me also minimize this one here. Then we go to desktop. You see, this is desktop. We have the thing here. Okay. So we can double click and then see uh, our work anytime. Right. So that's uh, how to copy from the internet and then save it. Uh, you save it on computer uh let's say microsoft word save it in microsoft word okay so let's go back to our internet browser so it was this place that we copied okay so uh basically this is how we get information from any website any kind of information just uh, think of any information okay it's up to you okay it's up to you so uh if you want to apply to any uh tertiary institution university wherever anything so if i want to study in a particular university let's say harvard university uh, it pops up here so let me just select it and then i see the website uh, this one is online.hbs.edu or edu uh, i may click on it to open or i can go down to check this is www.harvard.edu and uh, that's Harvard. i can click you know uh, just uh, open a couple of them that you check which one is really giving you the right details you're looking for you can get your phone contact or email and then communicate with them so that's the first part of our discussion today how to use the internet you can download but uh, let me go and show you where our downloaded documents went okay so this is uh, your desktop okay you can come to file explorer here we click file explorer it's gonna open a window for us then on the left side here you see so many things including download so this is the place where all downloaded uh, files come to okay so all the things we downloaded came straight to this place look at the name here my bear if you remember that's it look at this one here uh, the antelope if you remember these ones are the pdf files we downloaded click here you will see the pdf file uh, a preview on the right side okay so let's wait that's a preview okay i can go to the next one that's just a preview but if you want to open it uh you know completely just double click double click and it's gonna open completely for you okay let's make it big we maximize it so that's our pdf file so even if you are not connected to the internet now you can enjoy it take your time and read and then you do your work okay so uh that's how nice and interesting that uh, the internet can be you can get any kind of information on your mind from the internet okay now um the next thing i want to show you is that uh, you can also search for videos to educate yourself okay uh, we live we live in a computer age uh, there are some things that you do not have to walk around stress yourself uh, trying to ask for who can help you some basic basic things you can get them uh, from the internet uh, by making use of youtube videos okay now another website uh, it's youtube let's call it www.youtube.com okay i want you to write this website down it gives you videos of uh, anything that you can think of okay so you type this website in the address bar click enter okay this is for videos mainly videos okay it comes you can get uh, movies okay if you like movies you can get uh, let's say music you can get uh, anything you can maybe you want to even learn how to cook okay how to bake you know how to bake bread just that click enter 
then go down and see so many videos about how to bake bread you can start a, a big business using this channel uh, this YouTube uh, website okay you can learn how to how to fix a shirt how to you know uh, sew a shirt how to fix your shoe how to do many things okay so don't waste your time you can do so many profitable things okay using um, you know YouTube even how to learn how to learn you see I want to learn about accounting just type uh, accounting basics uh, how to do mathematics, uh, how to uh, do calculus, how to do trigonometry, algebra. You want to study science, just type the topic you want and you will get thousands and thousands of videos explaining what you want. So you can sit in your home and educate yourself about anything. Okay, so let's click on this. I can click directly or I can do right click to open in a new tab. Whilst I go down to check, you know, those that I think uh, are possibly providing the kind of info I want and the time this one is like three minutes you know 37 seconds four minutes 39 so it gives you information you know the title of it or the heading and then the time estimate okay so you get so many things this is 23 minutes you know so you just you can click directly then the video will start playing okay Sometimes uh, there may be a few adverts that may run, you know, whilst you are watching the video. You can go to skip ad and then let's see. Today's video, we're going to make homemade bread. Um, I love homemade bread and it's easier than you think. And I know it's really intimidating to try to make homemade bread. Week ...that you want to layer your ingredients into need past a level two um, but read your um, so you can see for yourself they will give you details step by step step by step so you can learn everything that you want to do so these days uh, you don't need money as capital all you need is the internet if you have access to the internet you can do anything you know how to do hair you, you know fix your hair how to do nails how to do just think of anything okay how to even learn a computer i know you can that's do what it anything is uh, on, the, on the internet so using the internet is one of the most powerful tools that you can ever uh, you know get as a person okay so that's youtube that's youtube and uh, maybe the next thing I will show you, uh, we communicate via emails, okay? These days, uh, if you want to send uh, an information to someone from elsewhere, your, 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 your family, you can, uh, to any organization, they will give you an address called email address. Uh, you should have an email address so that you can send information or you can exchange information between yourself and maybe some other organizations or individuals, okay? so uh where do i start from i'll show you how to create a simple gmail account okay you should be able to create it yourself it's quite simple okay so you just come to uh the browser here now another thing is let's say i've opened three tabs now one here two here three here i want to do something else maybe i'm not done with these two okay i need to get back to them so i don't want to close them so you see this plus symbol here once you click a new tab will open I can click again a new tab will open okay so uh, whatever you are doing if you are not done yet you don't have to uh, close any of them just leave them you click on the plus sign and a new tab open so let let's work from this new tab okay uh though i can click here to gmail okay but i don't want to do that okay uh i want to start from scratch i go to www.google.com okay that it takes you to google or I think that that's much easier for you. Or you can just type www.gmail.com. Gmail.com. Okay. Normally, if you want to go to your Gmail account, we also have Yahoo Mail and stuff like that. But these days, uh, the common one that people use is the Gmail. Uh, sorry, I already have uh, my email uh, already logged in. Okay. So this is my inbox. I receive messages and stuff like that. Let me log out. So you come to this symbol here, C, okay, for Charles. Then I go down here and look for sign out. Okay, so I'll sign out first so that uh, it will not uh, confuse uh, with what we are doing. Okay, so let's now go to www.gmail.com and see.
okay so uh you may see something like this if uh, previously some people have opened their email on the computer okay so uh, i will come down here i don't want to use any of these things if you have an email already you go to use another account and you put your email address but then if you don't have an email address what do you do okay let's still click on that use another account you click use another account okay so you put your email but this is a case where we do not have an email address we want to create one by ourselves so you see this here create account create account so it's very simple you click on it create account is it for your business or for yourself you can create a personal one or you can create one for your business right it doesn't really matter so if it's for yourself you say for myself then you put your names and you know stuff like that it's very simple so let's say charles and uh, let me put my surname kodong and uh, the email is uh let's say charles the name that you the email you know how you want people to see your email or the email uh that you want for yourself give it a, a unique email that uh, you'll be using uh, charles uh, kodom um 44 okay so that's the email address so it will be like charles kodom 44 at gmail.com but there are times when you type it will give you an error that uh, it's not available someone has used it or taken it they said the username is taken or that username is taken it means someone is using this exact email address okay so you cannot use it so sometimes if you still love this name you may attach a certain number maybe three and see whether it will accept it you know once i put it it accepted it or otherwise you have to change the entire thing then you put a password okay the password sometimes you see let me give you a clue it should be up to at least eight characters okay eight or more and they said it should be a mixture of what letters numbers and symbols okay symbols so uh it must also involve uh, like a, an uppercase you know sometimes you can use a uppercase let me click here to show you the password so that you see i can say um you see i can say safety safety first safety first uh at five okay safety first at five then i repeat it here okay so at you find it on your keyboard uh it's uh, on the button number two but the at is on top of the two so you have to press on shift before you press that button to get at so i repeat safety safety first at five right so then i go to next this is the uh, button that I checked to show the uh, password. If I uncheck it, the password, you will not see it right. Okay, so it's all up to you. So I go to next. Then I put my phone number. Okay, they said it, it's optional, but uh, it's, it's highly recommended. Then if I have another email address, in case there is a problem with this, they will send me a message to the other email so that I can fix it. this one. Then I put my date of birth and I put uh, my gender, mail, and then uh, I go to next. And then the next, next, then you'll be done. So your email account will be created. Okay. It's very simple. But if you find a problem, just um, get back to me. Uh, you can drop me a message and then I'll, I'll, I will just take my time and go over this. So uh, these are the three components uh, for now that I will leave you with. That is how to uh, open an internet browser and search for anything at all that you, you want to. And then uh, how to uh, go to YouTube and then watch videos uh, and learn uh, anything that you want to learn. And then uh, how to create your Gmail account so that you can communicate you know, uh, with others. So maybe uh, in the next video, I'll start from here and take my time to create email account, you know, and then uh, we will be sending uh, emails from one email to another email account. So uh, that will be for now. We can close, uh, you know, the tabs from here. If you want to close everything one time, just click and everything will close. Okay. So uh, thank you uh, for watching. And I hope this one uh, becomes quite useful uh, to you. Bye.